So since people are still asking what is Bleach Soul Resonance going to be played on, it's currently announced for mobile only. All right, they have they have said that it's going to release on Android and iOS, and maybe it might release on the PC as well. But a lot of people have been questioning, like, hey, why won't this game come out as console? Why is it a a mobile game when it has such nice graphics and it looks so amazing and it just doesn't deserve to be a mobile game well if you haven't noticed mobile game is now the essence of gaming aside from games like you know fortnite and all the other stuff that got popular but at the end of the day if you do make a game free like fortnite obviously they're gonna make their games um very much pay to win and a lot of people are complaining like oh this is why i don't like playing mobile games but let me just spread a little bit of um knowledge on you guys for those of you who are saying oh it doesn't deserve to be a mobile game mobile games are the peak of gaming right now okay why because it's handheld it's mobile you can take it with you wherever you go you can play the game wherever you are if you have internet access wi-fi or anything like that you're good to go you're good to go there's nothing holding you back you can lose power and you'll still be able to play the game well if you have like internet on your phone from your phone plan but if you have wi-fi and your internet goes out i mean that's the only way that you won't be able to play so this being a mobile game is a big w all right yes the gameplay uh, mechanics look amazing the graphics are amazing the game itself is crisp and whatever you may complain about if they release this game on a console unit right it'll be a 65 to 80 dollar game all right depends on whatever they price their game at and then they're not gonna pull every single character in the game they may not even put all the uh story in the game they'll do a bunch of dlc content and you being the smarty you're gonna end up paying for that which is gonna be what an additional 20 25 dollars whereas you could put in that 20 to 25 dollars for the mobile game summon get the characters continue on and play it's at the end of the day you're still gonna be playing the game and you're still gonna be paying for content you're gonna be paying for uh banners to summon on you're gonna be paying for uh the character that you really want and whatever the case may be costumes um if they're gonna do stuff like that you know those are all gonna be things that you're gonna be paying for but if they also did the same exact thing for a console unit then you're also gonna be paying for skins you're gonna be paying for dlc you're gonna be paying for extra characters you're gonna be paying for uh maps map packs uh etc 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 so at the end of the day the game yes it may be a mobile game but at the end of the day as well it's more viable for people to play because you don't have to uh go and spend that money to get these characters to do what you want to do you don't have to go and spend the money you can grind out the game because it's a mobile game and there's going to be free currency in the game you grind out the game play story mode play, play all the events um if they'll have pvp which they may have pvp they are all going to be giving you in-game currency and that's something that you don't have to spend money on and again if kids want to play these games they don't have to go hey mom can you buy this game for me hey dad can you buy this game for me or whatever grandma auntie uncle can you buy this game for me and they'll have to they will have to shell out 80 dollars or 75 or 60 however much they will price mark the game at right and that's that's money that you know you gotta end up spending to get the game and then later on they're gonna add dlcs hey mom can you get this dlc da 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 it's a it's gonna be a reoccurring cycle a never ending cycle it's just gonna be same exact thing so yes a mobile game is the best thing for this to be um there's great graphics so people are also commenting um how bad of a phone can you use to play this game I'm gonna assume you're gonna need like next gen kind of phones, something that's gonna be able to, you know, use as much um, RAM or data as you can to just play the game. All right, so a lot of people are gonna be playing this game on um, emulators on their computer. Like me, I will be, I will definitely be playing this on an emulator if it's still allowed. You know, the ones that I use is LD Player. That's, that's the one that I play with uh there's also Knox, there's also blue stacks but i wouldn't really use those i would go and use ld player 
um, and yeah or you can just use an iPhone uh, I would say iPhone 11 plus should be good enough and an Android I don't know <laughs> I don't know uh, I would say like the uh, I don't know I'm not too sure I haven't had an Android phone in so long but yeah I, I would just say like these are gonna be things that you're gonna need all right and again let's say they gate the game comes out on a console or if they did choose the console you would have to go and shell out 600 700 dollars to get the console to play the game to get the game to play the game to pay for the dlc bro you spending more money uh, for that you'll be spending close to maybe what 800 dollars to play the game to get the console get the game play the game and then later on they'll have dlcs they'll have skins and stuff like that you'll have to pay for that as well so you'll be paying a lot of money on that end so yes in my opinion mobile is the way to go that is going to be the best route in my opinion um and you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you guys think but looking at this screen man look at the gameplay the gameplay this is all being played on a mobile device these graphics are on a mobile device that means that mobile gaming is just increasing and it's growing and is developing it's evolving man you know everything goes through that whole process and this is mobile gaming's turn and it's time for it to evolve these are so many there's so many new games coming out and on top of that if you look at one piece fighting path it's similar it's the same game uh, company th that's developing it is it's, it's new verse at the end of the day it's a mobile game mobile gaming is evolving and if you agree let me know in the comments below and if you don't agree then i mean let me know in the comments below let me see what you guys got to say because i just took all the points that are going to be given and i just debunked them these are all things that you got to think about you're wanting this game to be a pc game you want it to be a, a console game you guys are not looking at the bigger picture if they do do that they're gonna want to make their money back i mean using 16 million usd i don't know they have a better chance of making that money back being a very popular gotcha game all right i don't know but it's it's just up to the developers and at this time all we know it is for ios and android devices later coming to pc maybe and console i highly doubt it that's all i'm gonna say Thank you guys for watching if you haven't already uh subscribe to the channel with post notifications on i'll be dropping as much content as i can for bleach soul resonance as well as the other games that are soon to release but if you're here for soul resonance let me know in the comments below show some support by leaving a like all right i'll see you guys thank you peace